Have you ever heard people ask, why can't victims of abuse just leave? Let's unravel this complex question, shall we? When we talk about abuse, there's typically one important thing missed, and that's how abuse can have a significant impact on a person's perceived freedom to choose to leave. People will say victims have free will, but the whole point is that an abusive relationship makes you feel like you don't. Can we just be honest? If it was as easy as just saying to people, just leave, that would work. There's a reason it doesn't. Imagine you're in a room with all of these doors, and every time you start to approach one, something jumps out and scares you back into the corner. That's kind of how an abusive relationship can feel. This can be due to fear, trauma, or manipulation from the abuser. It creates a sense of being trapped or feeling like there's no viable options. So sure, victims have free will, but their capacity to act on it in a safe way is severely limited. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have no choice, but it could mean that every choice they have is dangerous or harmful. The choice to leave could cost you your life. Even if the abuser is not directly threatening your physical safety, they've created a power imbalance that makes you feel like you can't leave. Abusive relationships are often like psychological warfare. The reasons that victims stay are complex and nuanced. If you've never been in an abusive relationship, it's really hard to understand. Quite frankly, if you've been in an abusive relationship, it's still really hard to understand. Victims of abuse need compassion, empathy, and support. Shaming and blaming victims and asking them why they don't just leave, why they don't just call the police, does not help. The truth is, it actually makes it harder for them to leave. So instead of asking, why don't you just leave? Instead, ask any of these five questions. Can you help me understand what you're experiencing? Or, what does a typical day look like for you? Or, what resources or support do you wish you had? Or, what worries or concerns do you have about making a change to your situation right now? Or in my view, the best one, how can I best support you right now? Ask these questions with genuine empathy and patience. Don't expect an immediate answer. The goal is to create a safe space.